Hi, let's discuss phases of compiler. A compiler operate in phases, each of which transform the source program from one representation to another. First phase is lexical analysis. Second phase is syntax analysis or it called as parsing. Next semantic analysis or it called as syntax directed translation or you can simply say SDT. Fourth one is intermediate code generation. Next, intermediate code optimization or called as machine independent code optimization. Sixth one is target code generation or called as machine dependent code generation. Next, target code optimization or machine dependent code optimization. So first phase, lexical analysis. Next phase is syntax analysis. Next phase syntax directed translation or called as STT. Next phase intermediate code generation. Next is intermediate code optimization. Next is target code generation. Next is target code optimization. And there is a symbol table and error handler. I will explain detail about symbol table and error handler later. Lexical analysis take pure high level language as input and produce tokens. Then syntax analysis take tokens as input and produce a parse tree. Then syntax directed translation that convert into a annotated parse tree. Then intermediate code generation it will generate three address code. Then intermediate code optimization that will optimize this three address code. Then target code generation it will generate assembly language from three address code. Then target code optimization that will optimize assembly language. Symbol table is a database that store information and it is connected with all the phases. Then every phases can handle the error. So error handler that is also connected with all the phases. This is the diagram for phases of compiler. There is a symbol table, there is a error handler that is connected with all the phases. Every phases that transform one representation to another. Next pass. Number of times source code is scanned during the process of compilation is called as pass. The compiler can be single pass or multi pass. Single pass usually require everything to be defined before being used in the source program. So before use everything should be defined in case of single pass. And single pass require more memory but less time. Then multi pass compiler may have to keep entire program representation in memory as repeatedly it will use from memory. Several phases can be grouped into one single pass and the activity of these phases are interleaved during the pass. Several phases can be grouped into one single pass or multi pass. Multi pass require less memory but more time in general the compiler is two pass the process of translation is divided into two part first front end second is back end total phases that we can divide into two part one is front end another is back end so what is front end front end is analysis or machine independent this include lexical analysis syntax analysis creation of symbol table semantic analysis and generation of intermediate code so these phases are called front end it converts source code into intermediate code it also include error handling that goes along with each of these phases next back end back end also called synthesis or machine dependent it include code optimization phase and code generation phase along with the error handling and symbol table operation. It convert three address code into assembly language. So there is a front end. Front end will convert high level language into intermediate code. Then from intermediate code back end will convert into assembly language. So front end that is logical analysis, syntax analysis and semantic analysis and generate intermediate code backend that is code optimization and code generation in next lecture i will introduce all the phases with example thank you